Hey, it's Stephen for FutureLooks.com, and today we have a very special treat. We're in New York to check out a brand new product from Western Digital, and they call it the My Cloud. The Western Digital My Cloud is the company's answer to a mass market NAS style device that has the ability to also augment your cloud-based storage services. Scott from Western Digital is going to take us through where this device really fits in the marketplace. Everybody's content is scattered all over the place right now on all their phones and tablets, and those phones and tablets are getting filled up. There's no place that you could centralize everything, but then still share it, manage it, and access it with your mobile devices. My cloud lets you do that. So it attaches to your router back home, provides storage for all your devices. You can send it photos, videos directly from your phone, whether you're on 3G, 4G, or Wi-Fi. My cloud starts at $149 for two terabytes. If you were to try and get that much space with a public cloud service, that would be $200 per year after year after year. So it really sounds like the MyCloud is the NAS for everyone. Although it's not going to compete with the high-end brands or even your home-built home servers, this device has some really great appeal for people that just want something that just works offline, online, at home, uh, wherever you go. And in fact, there are, are actually a lot of really cool hardware and software features that Matt from Western Digital is going to take us through. It's got a USB 3 port on the back, uh, dual-core Cortex-A9 processor inside, and it's fanless so it's whisper quiet. And really what that gives you is about 60 megabyte a second writes and 80 megabyte a second reads. That's about two or three times faster than most of the other consumer NAS on the market. It does have a lot of advanced features in the, in the web dashboard that you can go into, setting up shares, uh, setting up backups, things like that. Uh, but it's really so easy to use, you almost don't need any software at all. Because the MyCloud is running Linux, it's very easy to add new features and other applications. WD's developing new applications all the time, but there's also an active community of hackers out there adding features to it as well. Mobile apps are great because they really give you this remote access to that storage. And if you have a, a 16, 32, 64 gig device, you don't have room for all that content on those. So you can actually take photos and videos that are on the mobile device, send those back home, or use the mobile app to access all of the two, three, or four terabytes and get to every file and folder on the MyCloud through a mobile app. There's public shares, and you can also create private shares that are password protected. So you can put your private files in yours, but put MP3s and more common files in the public app, in the public folder for anyone to access. Because you're backing up all your content to the MyCloud, uh, it's good to have two copies of everything. We've got a technology called SafePoint that lets you make a copy of your MyCloud to another MyCloud, to a USB drive, or even to a computer. So the MyCloud, by Western Digital doesn't look like it's going to be a true competitor for any of the professional or prosumer NAS devices out there or even some of the um, home servers that some of you have made yourselves or even purchased outside on the market. But what it is, is a really compelling offer if you already subscribe to cloud services such as Google Drive or Dropbox, which have yearly subscriptions. This is a device that you buy once and it has the privacy and the personal nature that gives you peace of mind at home. Uh, pricing for this device is $149 for the two terabyte version, $179 for the three terabyte version, and it's gonna be $249 for the four terabyte version. So very compelling pricing, you buy it once and that's it. And it comes out today and will be available at most major retailers. I'm Steven for futurelooks.com, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, comment on this video, and of course like it. Take care.